everybody it's time for my may favorites and i have a lot to show you and there is a chance my phone may die all right let me get right into it okay so i pulled out two moisturizers i've been using a lot this month this one is the estee lauder revitalizing supreme and then i'm i've also been using the clinique moisture surge and another favorite is the clinique dramatically different um cream i like the cream that's in the jar not the lotion or the gel so i've been using these my eye cream that i've been using a lot this month is abaji elastoderm i've been trying to use it twice a day and i really you know for a little bit for a minute there i was kind of powdering it's not that i take powder and press it on i don't want you to think that it's just when you have that lotion gel under your eyes everything can start smearing so you i don't know just try to use less or powder it a little bit, but not like throw a bunch of powder on there because then you're just gonna have, it's gonna roll up and you're gonna have a mess. I saw some stuff online and I have, this is a repurchase. This is great to put on after your eye cream has settled in or your lip treatment has settled in for the night. And this is the Lansino HPA Lanolin. And you can find this just Walmart in the baby section. It's not in the pharmacy. And it's just lanolin, basically. Lanolin acts as a barrier and it just lets your cream soak in. Don't just put it on and then put this on. Let your cream soak in. I try, I try to do at least 20-30 minutes or even more. And then right before bed, just a little bit of this over it. It's better than using Vaseline or Aquaphor because it's, it's just a thicker consistency. My oil, which is the primer oil I've been using all month, is my Smashbox primer oil. My Phoebe I've been using all month. Usually my Garnier is in here and is still a favorite. There's no hair products, there's no jewelry, and there's something else I'm not doing because I had so much of the other stuff. But it's the NYX BB in Golden. Two foundations that made it into my favorite because I love both of these. Like, I don't even care if I ever use another foundation ever. Milani Conceal and Perfect and the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Great. I think this is probably a little bit fuller coverage, but be careful with the powder because, um, because it's thicker, it can hold powder more, and you can get a little bit cakey with that one. And... Of course, I've been using my e.l.f., but this I've been using a lot this month. And I, I don't like to show the same things, and you know I like to do my rotation. So this is the Cody Airspun in Translucent. Love the way this smells. I think this, the powder's great, but I think the smell made it famous. Okay, I have quite a few highlighters. I have MAC Global Glow. I've used this several times in Get Ready With Me. I've showed this a bunch over the last six weeks. And it is the one that everybody's having a hard time finding. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Precious Petals. And I believe Tina got one for me. I believe this is in my gift. And I have two. And then I have the darker one. I'm not, I'm not personally crazy about the darker one. Um, Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light. Is it this? Um... Okay. Oh, I see. It's brilliant. The color is brilliant. I forgot. It's like brilliant, incandescent, all those. They're the same thing as the ambient powders. They just put strobe, smaller packaging, same price. Um, and my Too Faced Snow Bunny. Love this stuff. I can't. Someone told me there was a dupe and I can't find it. It was, uh, I looked for it. I believe it was a, not Elf. I can't remember now, but I looked for it. I remembered what it was and I looked for it and I can't find it. Now, I just don't remember what it is right off the top of my head. Uh, Physicians Formula. Now I'm on the bronzers. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have put a dent in that bad boy. This is beautiful. I think anybody could wear this. If you're really dark, it's probably not going to show up though. But because it's not, it's not a dark bronzer. Uh, my Sonia Kashuk Goddess. I've used this in a Get Ready with Me, and this is whew, gives your face just the prettiest golden sheen. And my Nars Laguna. Uh, this is, I think this is the only one I have. I thought, and I may have the whole compact, the way they used to make them in these. I don't know if they're still making them. The only one that Sephora has is a ginormous one now, and it's $60. Uh -uh. Um, contouring and sort of cleaning up the contour. This month I've been using my True Match C6 powder. This one, and I've hit pan on this too. 
And then this I have been buying for years and years. I probably have several backups and I've probably gone through and hit pan on four. And this is a big compact for what, um, for especially for the price. It's the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. What I like to do, this is my new one. What I like to do with that is, and you know, I have no business. This isn't a beauty video. <laughs> Look at my hair. I just got my hair pulled back at sort of. Um, what I do with this is after I contour, I clean up right here. I used to do right here and I mean, you know, you can, it's just, it's just another, it's okay. It's if you want that, you know, especially like if you are doing this V right here, that's okay. I mainly just do this with it and clean that line up. That's all. Um, two blushes made it in here. Of course, I'm sure there's more. So, uh, you know, I could sit here and show you stuff all day. Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink, and I meant to bring Apricot in the Middle. Sorry about that, Phil. That's supposed to be Apricot in the Middle. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Duh. Um, put your glasses on, girl, when you're showing stuff. My Tarte Exposed, and I've showed this. I've had this on in a lot of videos. Uh, on to eyeshadows. Um, my palette. Really, I've been using a lot of palettes, except for the... Urban Decay Cosmo, and I did not, I thought I brought it in here, because that is a favorite. It's just a real, like, wet shimmer, and I love it. My Naked Basics 2, and I've been dipping hard into these. I don't have the first one. Um, I, th I think that one's cooler, and that's why I bought it. Um, the Sweet Peach, loving these colors. I need to do some more eye looks with that, and the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette, and then my Naked 2. And you can see I've hit pan on busted this is busted this right here is the one that i usually and i like actually like the brush let me use the brushes in here because it's a flatter brush and i love this i hope this isn't too bad right here that's where i usually put it and i don't have anything on under there well i did but it's worn off uh that's what i like to do with that love love the naked I don't know. Just naked one, two, and three are my favorites. <laughs> if I had to pick, I just couldn't. They're all good. Um, for setting my face just all month, I spray my Beauty Blender with the MAC Fix Plus, and sometimes I spray my face with it, but I love this NYX Dewy Finish. Love this. I've already gone through probably three of these. Two nail polishes this month is my NK Taupe. I wore it for like three weeks straight, which I'd never do. And the one I have on now, and I like the color, but it's the formula. This is Wet n Wild, Wild, Wild Violet. And this is $1.99, goes on your nails like butter. Love this big brush. It's amazing. Uh, three eyeliners, I meant lip liners. For eyeliner, I've been using my Shea Moisture Black, and I've showed it already a million times in my Clinique gel pretty much all month. This is, um, let's see, this one's Nude Beige. Next Nude nude Beige. Let me, I'm going to do a few swatches. But you've seen that one. I love the coolness of this one. NARS El Agua. This is Holy Grail. It's a little bit more purple. The, the camera's really picking up the pink on that one. And Nude Truffle, which I probably use every day at some point at the top. And I've got <laughs> Overkill on lipsticks. Just going to go ahead and tell you. We're going to swatch them really quick. I end up using my Palladio Pizzazz Pink just about every day. If you go too light, put this on and it's perfect. If you go too dark, put this on and it's perfect. And I mean... This is just perfection in a tube. And it's $5.99. Like, go to Sally's and get it. My Katie Cat Matte Cosmo Kitty. I want to just live, I just want to live with this. I just want this to be part of me. These, these two, I have, on, I have had on my lips at some point every day this month. I'm going to show you three bites. Sorry, but I love bite lipstick. This is Spritzer. This is probably my favorite bite. I just love this stuff. Very top. Let's see. Second would probably be... Well, these are probably going to be the same as far as ratings. Moraine. And I have a little bit of that on my lips right now. See that center? That's what that is. And then Saki. I had a fit when I saw Saki, so see that has a just, I like them both. Just depending on if you're wanting to go a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, but these 
I love. And this is my little, I put one of these in my giveaway too. I love this. This is my little Asian store $2.99 lipstick. And it's the Maracuja Kiss Stick. And I'm not seeing, I can't remember the name to be honest with you. The name's on here somewhere. I'll put it down below. It's this one. I've showed it in so many videos. I'm going to go over here. And I know it's kind of right there with those, but this is just $2.99. Oh my gosh. Formula's great. Lasting. Everything. I mean, it's just, it's it's like one of those gems you find at the Asian place. Um, two liquid lipsticks. I have more that I love, but I'm just going to show you two. This is Lumiere 2. I use this in a Get Ready With Me. I am so sorry that Get Ready With Me that I just put up today um, was pathetic, but there it is on the top. And then Dose Color Stone. This both of these are probably holy grail but look you can see like i'm using this stone i'm glad that it does that and it doesn't just fool you and sh not come off the side i like to see how much i've got left that one and it gets even prettier when it dries down it's just gorgeous gorgeous glosses okay i'm not gonna swatch these this is my lavender one that comes in the kit from ulta i've watched it in several videos what just happened over here in the pile y'all be still um every day it just seems like if i'm at the house and i just need something on my lips and it's not chapstick i use this dior lip maximizer not to make my lips bigger but it feels good and i just like the color this is the nude one and it looks like 900 so it's just the nude one and it pretty much goes on clear but that I have a pink one too that does show up pink but I use this one more because it doesn't do anything to your lips but just add a little moisture and a little bit of shine um, my Sephora brand great name I wish I could memorize these names but y'all I just can't this is to the moon and back I can't find it but this that's the name of it something to the moon and back and it's in this little section. They're $10, I think. I have the blue one, too. Right there. Top. Ah, love this. It has that pearl blue to it, too. I love it. Uh, this is NYX Sugar sugar Plum. And I like this. I like this better than Sugar Cookie because this one's a purple one. I'm going to put it at the bottom here. It's right there. That sugar cookie is just so pink. I'm going to use it, and I've bought it before, but um, I was just in there, and I, I was like, oh, this would be pretty on my lips right now, and three-something, you know. And this is Eclair, and this is great color. And if you ever want more pink than this, Moraine is just a little bit more pink because Eclair is pretty, pretty mild. That's it right there. And that's it. That's it for that. Anyway, um... Okay, here is, okay, I'm going to do my perfumes. I've got a lotion, a butter, and an oil. Let's do perfumes. Pulled out my Jamon Orange Blossom about a week ago, and I've already used that much. This is an, this was the new newer bottle that I bought. I may not have even showed it. Um, but anyway, I've gone through. This is probably, I just need to buy the big bottle. But the thing about it is with having so many perfumes, if you can buy the smaller bottles, you know, now, but I do go through these pretty quick. I've gone through three of these. I think this is my fourth orange blossom. And I like the Nectarine and Honey. And, and then I can't re never remember the Freesia one, but it's amazing. Like, I want to go get that and put that on. This, because well, I do like the way it smells. Why am I glaring? What's glaring? All of a sudden, I cleaned my lens. This, because of, um, it smells so fresh, but come on now. This needs to be in a glass case on a crystal shelf somewhere. $10. Marshalls. Mm, I love Marshalls and TJ Maxx, don't y'all? Okay, um, I've been wearing my Gucci Guilty Black. I try to rotate, you know, and put like, like this is part of my rotation for this month, and just, I've been trying to use them and not go around smelling too strong, but I've been trying to use them. Like, I need to use my perfumes. I've got too many. Uh, body spray, I'm going to show you this one more time. Active Essence, and it's the Tropical Coconut Coast. Ah, let me tell you a quick eBay story. Okay, I look on eBay because people are having trouble finding this. There was a seller that had three, and it just looked like three of these bottles for $5, free shipping, or something like that. Maybe, maybe $2 or something shipping. It was very inexpensive. 
no ounces. And the bottles, you can't tell because it's just on a plain white surface. So I email them and I said, there's different sizes of these. You need to list your ounces. Uh, what's your ounces and you need to list them so people will know. Because there is two sizes. This fool emails me back and says there's only one size and it's 2.7 ounces, I think is what she said, which is the trial size. I saw two pictures and sent her back. I didn't even check to see if she emailed me back. Sent two pictures, one like this and then one up close where it says eight ounces. And I said, like I said, it comes in different sizes and you need to list your sizes. I said, what you have is the trial size. And this picture I have is full size. I said, you need to clarify that on your, uh, on your ad. So watch that. Okay. Because they're trying, uh, that's, that's shady. Um, a body oil that I've been using, just one of them. Uh, I think this was in my last month's favorite too. Neutrogena body oil. I just put this on my legs, sometimes on my arms, but I have to be careful with oil on my arms because my hair gets on it, you know, and then you got oil in your hair, which I put oil in my hair, but you know, you can get too much in there too. Uh, my Palmer's cocoa butter, which I've used this for. Well, I got Karen hooked on it about five years ago and I had, I've probably been using this for about eight years give or take, I, maybe longer than that, but I just dip my finger in it like that because, it, you know, it's like, it's hard. It's harder and more, more substantial than Vaseline, and it smells good. I use this on my legs, my hands, my arms. You can put this on your face. I did try the tummy butter that one of my subscribers um, told me about, and the, the con consistency of that is pretty much the same, maybe a little bit of a drier, le less greasy formula. But, um, love both of them. Both of them. Um, for lotion, this is my Victoria's Secret Luminous Perfecting Cream. And I've just been putting this, like, on my arms. I mean, if I was going somewhere or going out at night and wearing shorts or something like that, I might would put this on my legs. But if you start putting this on your whole body, it's not going to last very long. So, um, I've just been kind of right here or a little bit on my arms or... You know, I would use this on my legs, but I have not because usually this, something like this or this gives them a pretty sheen or my Jergens BB um, gives them a pretty sheen. I like to use my BB and then like something like this over it. Then your legs look really, really good. Um, just a few odd things. I have two food items I'm going to throw in here after this month. First of all, these free people shoes, uh, the Navy that I showed you guys. Oh my God, like I just want to wear them around my neck when I'm when they're not on my feet. I love these shoes and they should bring some more out, but I don't know if they are, but I will tell you this and I've ordered them. You can look online if you're interested. They kind of slouch and they, they kind of, well, that's not right. You know, they'll kind of, they're really cute on. I have a picture on my Instagram, so look at that. This is the slouchy suede ones. Okay, it's Wet Seal or Charlotte Russe. I'm sorry, I can't remember, and I ordered them, and I will show you them when I get them. They'll be here next week. They have them. It's not the free people, but it is the only other shoe on the planet, and I just I just happened to run run into it looking for a shirt or something that was on there, so I do have, I think I ordered three things, and I really never order from them, but I will show you when they come in, um, but they have the closest shoe I've seen, like, the slouchy straps, closest I've seen to them. A lot of these gladiators have a have a solid piece here, which makes them stay up to your knees or right under your, you know, your knee. I don't like them that high. These don't sit like that. These sit like that, like mid-calf or lower even. Now, they don't bunch all the way down. Um, but anyway, when I get those shoes, I'm going to show you because they are black. And that's the only reason I got them. And gosh, it just seems like they were only like 20 something dollars. And I was like, bam, I am on that. So when I get them, I will show them to you. And I ordered, I believe there's three things. I'll show it to you when I get it. I, have, I do have some mail orders coming in. They'll start coming in probably next week. And I'll show you. I got a Bath and Body Works order just because I didn't want to go in Bath and Body Works. And it was free shipping and they had a sale. Tenants balls. Whether you have back trouble or not, get you some of these. They're like 147, 187 at Walmart for a can of three. Be careful because it scared me twice. I bought two cans and when you pop it, it's like a Pringles can. When you pop it, it blows up in your face, so it will scare you. Um, but I just keep two. 
in, a, in the car, or I mean, you could even do it like me sitting here if I get right up at this couch. Put it in your pressure points. Put it in your sore muscles. And especially when you're riding in the car, they will really push into it. And after about 10 minutes, you'll kind of want to move them. So I just reach my hands back there and push it up a little bit or push it down a little bit. And you will feel like when you arrive at your destination, like especially if it's over 30 minutes, my, some of mine's over three hours, um, you will feel like you had a back massage, seriously. Now, I haven't tried it up here yet. I need to try to put it up again. I don't, you know, you're going to have to get it where there's a good area, but get you some tennis balls. Okay, two food things, and then I'm done. Yay, I showed you guys a lot of stuff. Holy cow, when I go to list of stuff, it's going to take me an hour. Um... These are in your produce section over there with all the little stuff in Walmart. Cashews, maple, bacon. Now, don't let that scare you because really, there's a slight bacon, slight bacon <clears throat> taste to them. It's mainly maple cashews. And I know that there's sugar in here and I know I should not be eating these things, but these are addicting. I, I try to, I want, let me see, sugar, 15 grams, mm. serving size is one ounce, okay, and this bag is eight, so, and this is, this isn't quite a full bag, there's a few on, but anyway, so that, it's, it is high in sugar, but these things are so good, okay. These are good for you, too, before you um, get a whole thing of ranch dressing to dip them in. These I bought at Walmart, and I, I have not tried another brand, but I'm not going to. These are perfect. These are all-natural Alexia sweet potato fries with sea salt, and they're not real salty, so don't think that. Um, I sprinkle, there it is, heavens. I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on them when they come out of the oven. 450, says it on there. 15 minutes, you know, scattered, you know, on the bacon pan, like one layer. 15 minutes is perfect. I set, I just set my timer. They're perfect. They're a little bit brown on the edges, but, you know, not burnt. I sprinkle a little cinnamon, and then I get me a little dish of um, ranch. I like these better than French fries, regular French fries, and sweet potatoes are good for you. So, the ranch probably doesn't help any kind of matter, but anyway. These are really, really, really good. You know I share with you guys the best stuff that I can find. I know not everybody likes sweet potatoes. I do like sweet potatoes, but these are better. So if you're on the fence with sweet potatoes, try these with some cinnamon and some ranch. I did blue cheese one time too, and that was pretty good, but I liked the ranch better. So that wraps it up for my May favorites. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not. I've got some good stuff coming. I've got a car vlog that's going to be coming up really soon. And everybody have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.